Alrighty. Hello everyone. It's Greg here. And today, well, I thought I would do a live video instead of like the, uh, well, you know, when I'm drinking one beer, it's a bit easier. But today I'm trying two different beers, so I thought I'd go live. And Well, Wilbur Worm, he wanted me to try uh, the Pure Blonde. And, well, from what I wrote down, he wanted me to try a Pure Blonde or a Cascade. And I was like, well, <laughs> the only Cascades we have up here uh, is the uh, Premium Light. And, well, <laughs> who, who really wants to try? Well, I will anyway. Should I do it today? Who knows? But anyway, I thought I'd try you know, these pure blondes today. Oh, the room's getting some people coming in. It's always good. 21 already. Well, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. I guess everyone's come home. Uh, also, I believe it is uh, about 11 o'clock on the west coast of the USA, which is always good. And in London, I'm guessing it's about 6 a.m. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is there. If you're from England, let me know down below. Premium mid, yeah, yeah, I saw the premium mid and I was like, oh, pure blonde premium mid. It's 3% this. So 3% alcohol, low in carbs. Don't think it wants to focus. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd give this one a go. See what it's like, as you do. 4 p.m., well it is there. It's here, here on the East Coast, it's 4 p.m. 7 a.m. in the UK. Oh, that's, that's beer o'clock, right? <laughs> it's beer o'clock for the pommies. Low carbs, oh, that's great for your beer gut. I've been trying to work on mine. You know, that's why I do two hours of exercise every day. I'm trying to work on that beer gut. Oh, straight away when I crack this open, I tell you. Oh, it smelled. Mm, it smells like a Vegemite sandwich. <sighs> Who we got in the room anyway? Let's see. All the favorites. Uh, S. Debs, Angus, uh, Big Love, Cool Beans, Braden, Nicholas. Good beers, you reckon, old Nicholas? Yeah, I reckon so too. Silve, Big Avo. Mate, the bigger the Avo, the better, I reckon. That's for sure. Whippy, Chris Paul, he's always here. Robert, Jasper, Rickus. Puff Mummy, Vince Cotton, oh mate, Robbo, Sonny, all the all the regular Pierre. A hair wash review. Well, I tell you what, my hair's getting a little bit longer. I could do with some anti dandruff though. Tell you what, the old dandruff whew, comes and goes, doesn't it? I think it's more psoriasis, and you know the thing that I think can uh, help fix that. Is this right here? So I thought I'd go the, uh, well, the premium mid. See what that's like. I've never had one of these before. I'm looking forward to it too. As it is beer o'clock, so well, it's four o'clock. I'm actually feeling a bit full from lunch. I made a really nice salmon bake in the new oven. Not a bake, but I baked a salmon. Really good. Long hair suits me. Uh, if, it, if I thin it out a bit, otherwise it, my hair sort of just puffs out. Like on all sides. Like my, my kids, photos of me as a kid. I had the big bowl haircut. <laughs> ah. well, it smells all right. <laughs> you G'day Judas and Martha. Yeah, that's pretty funny, that one. What's my favourite beer? Well, it could be this one. I don't know yet. We'll see. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's got a little bit of flavour there. Nothing uh, too extraordinary. 
Although it is 3%. <laughs> oh, I used the stove for the first time today. It's been in here for, what, a few days now, and it's the first time that I've actually used it. <laughs> Don't wear black if you got dandruff. Yeah, I know. I have to, like, shake everything before I uh, do some recording. It even comes out of the beard sometimes. I think that's dandruff. Who knows what it is? could be dry in anything. Mm. Yeah, a little low on the flavours, that one. A little low. Not as low as a Molson, but still. It, uh, <coughs> I had some slight Vegemite flavours in there, actually. Mm. Uh, very light, actually. Very light on all flavours, on all sides. Uh... It's okay, 3%, I mean, it's a good for, what size bottles are these, by the way? Three, I got new glasses, I can't even see in them. These are my long distance glasses for, from me to the camera. 355 mils, scabs. The yeah, old scabby, 355, at least it's not 333 mils, right? Um. Well, it's all written in something here. Maybe if I held it up to the camera, I could actually probably read it better because from where I'm sitting, I can't see deadly squat. Uh, where's that made? Anyone? Anyone? Victoria. Everything's made in Victoria. Seems like it. Maybe they just got one brewery that just keeps pumping out all the beers. It's better than a bluey, that's for sure. That's right, Steve. Puff Mummy's getting herself a um, a bevy. What bevy are you getting? Actually, I bought a, a cask of wine the other day. I bought a bottle of wine and, well, you know how my, um, I showed you yesterday my, my, uh, my, uh, my gin and my tequila just disappeared. I think somebody must have broken into the house and, uh, well, just came and drunk it all. And they, while they were doing that, they drank my bottle of wine that I just bought for cooking. So I went and bought myself a two litre cask just in case so I don't run out as fast. <laughs> An oven review. I wonder how I would do that. A sparkling Moscato Rosa with raspberries. Gee, that's fancy. A goon bagger. Ah, oh, you guys. You guys are funny. I wish my comedy was as good as your comments sometimes, I tell you. Mm. I've had the last few days. Oh, well, I, I lie. I haven't had the last few days off because I did a beer review yesterday. But that was it. I just had the one and been really good lately. Ever since that time, you know, you know sometimes things happen. And, you know, people drink all your drinks and they just disappear. But, um, but I did, um, now I had that, that Ricky's uh, tequila, which someone drank it all. I don't know who did. <coughs> but I... Robert Hayes sent me a, uh, well, a donation over here. And, well, uh, he wanted me to get some absinthe. And I was like, no way. There's no way in the world I'm getting absinthe. So I thought instead of that, I'll get myself some more tequila. And this time, I got the one litre bottle of Jose Cuervo. It's the uh, blue agave. 
And this one was donated by Robert Hayes. So thanks, Robert. So I got a whole new one litre bottle of Jose Cuervo. I tell you what, I'm not a very big spirits drinker, uh, generally anyway, but the, I'm, I'm really enjoying <laughs> the tequila. I'm really enjoying it. It's all thanks to you, Ricky. <laughs> Ah, God. Oh, Wilbur Worm. This was, this was from you. This was, uh, this was your suggestion, Wilbur Worm. And I also got the uh, Cascade Premium Light because that was the only one that they, they have. Now, I did look for some Mezcal and I found out that Mezcal was just a general, well, a general sort of uh, brand name, I think. But they didn't have anything with a worm in it. So I just got this. They were out. They must have been out of all the worm drinks. I don't think I need to drink a worm anyway. So I'm really looking forward to trying one of these. I might even try one a little bit later. After I've finished these, uh, or these pure blondes. I might crack the bottle open. Why not? It's Thursday. Mate, when I was growing up, Thursday was the big drinking night. I mean, it was uh, it was always dollar drinks out of the nightclubs on a Thursday night. So this is my Thursday night. Is it night time yet? Yeah, it's a quarter past four. That's that's it's well. Let's see what it's like outside. Let's let's see if that if you would consider this night time. Yeah, well, it's pretty dark. I mean, it's dark enough, right? Yeah, that's night time. We'll say it is anyway. Oh, you can see the sun through the window there. That'll be going down soon. Thirsty Thursday. Oh, it's payday, is it? Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how good a drop this one is. I'm really looking for. I'm sure it's not as good as the. Um, Sure, it's not as good as the 1800, but um, it was around the same price. So I'm sort of thinking, well, if it's around the same price, surely it's going to taste just as good, right? Now, I will need to get some more gin. And I'm sort of thinking my next gin will be the uh, Roku, the Japanese one. That's That one is a, fav a favourite from a lot of people. <laughs> Uncle Greg. <laughs> uh, have I ever tried edibles? No, I haven't actually. We don't have any of those things here. Try the wild turkey. Well, I've got to have some uh, vat. I forget what it is. I got some in there anyway. Not bad. Pretty light tasting though, and a bit light on the old flavor. If, if I could get the old untapped app up. Um, yeah, I'd give that about a 2.25, I reckon this one. It's not great, it's it's really average tasting. Uh, it's quite watery tasting. Uh, there's not much of any flavor at all in there. And well, I don't think I'd get it again other than if I was driving somewhere and I was just going, wanted to have a couple. And then I'd throw the rest out or hand them, hand them out to people. But now the pure blonde, the normal one, what percentage is this? God, does anyone know? I got the bottle right here and I still can't see it. 80% less carbs though. So. I know what I'll do. I'll hold this up here and then I might be able to read actually what's what percentage it is. Uh, gee. Nah. Nah. Anyone see? I can't see anything there. Maybe it's down this bit. Anyone? Who knows? Who knows? I got no idea myself, so grab a fresh glass.
That three percent, I'm sure it's just going to go straight through me. Four point six percent. G'day, Darren. So here we go. The other heavier low carb, eighty percent less carbs. Gee, that's good. I think I actually drank one of these on my last uh, live thing. Hmm. Well, I can't smell any too much difference. Ah, smells a bit uh, plain and bland. I think I really enjoyed it last time. Uh, today, I mean, it's. I'd have to have another beer to compare this to. You can definitely taste that extra alcohol in there, but I mean, it's it tastes all right. I mean, and, and that aftertaste, it's got sort of that, I don't know, it's got that um, forexy sort of aftertaste in it, that sort of dry, hoppy sort of taste. Is it a dry beer, this one? It says low carbs. Oh, it tastes all right. I think I had one the other day and I thought it would taste really nice. Uh, you've been on the Espolon tequila. Knocking them back daily. Oh, I haven't seen the Espolon. Oh, I, actually, I, whenever I go to dance, I'm always sussing out the... Uh, well, lately I've been sussing out the, all the tequilas and there's some real beauties, but boy, they're not cheap. They are expensive tequilas. Absolutely uh, ridiculous, some of the prices of those. But uh, I did watch the YouTube video on how to make tequila, and well, it takes quite a bit of time. I didn't realize, I thought they used the leaves to make it, but they used the whole, this big bulb that's like this big. Looks like it weighs a ton, and these poor guys are hacking them apart with um, axes all day, and then shoving them into the mincer. Made hard yakka, those guys, they are working overtime. Poor fellas. Um, ah, you just recently had some Robo the Disabled Vlogger beer holders you're sending me. Oh, beauty. I just got a package in the mail today um, from, uh, who was it? I am. Those AM, they make uh, like Asian food, Asian sauces, Asian lots of things. I got this huge box that weighed like five kilos of just sauces. Um, they must have seen that video I did making uh, the rendang and they just uh, sent me, posted me some stuff, which was really good. <laughs> well, these are my, my new specs. These are one of them. I got a blue pair as well. But these ones are for this far, excuse me, and my blue pair is for this far. It does make a difference, apparently. Stubby holders. That's nice. <laughs> that four x that four ninety five KFC box, man. I tell you what, uh, any excuse. I think I was. Um, well, the night before, I think that's when all that gin and tequila disappeared. So uh, I was really keen to get some grease on the old tongue. And, uh, well, that KFC, you know, that's like, it goes down real nicely. Uh, have I tried the one box? No, I haven't tried that one. That seems like a bit too much food for me. Uh, again. It's the 40 ounce bounce guys back. I don't even know what that is. What job did I do before YouTube? I was a gardener. That was before I stuffed my back and could never pick up a, a, uh, a sickle again. Thank God. God, that was hard work too, I tell you. Absolutely hard work, especially living in Brisbane where it's stinking hot every day. 
and you just out there sweating your balls off and the ground that you're trying to dig into is clay and rock no wonder my back was hurt but luckily uh, it's all it's all fixed up now i got my glasses last friday i think it was who do i go for ford or holden i was a holden man until Well, it looks like they'll be, uh, I think at the end of this year, they'll be just changing to um, Chevy. Pretty sure that's what they're going to be doing. So I don't even watch, I'm not a motor racing person. I'm not into motor racing. I drive a, I drive a diesel ute, but um, <laughs> I'm lucky to get up to 110 in it, so. Uh, the next gig, um, we don't know yet. It's a little little way away, I think. We've got one in September, one in October. But we might have a few something else. And I'll let you know. <laughs> Should you go and get KFC tonight? You don't really want to, but will if I say so. Well, if you wanted to get that 495 box, it finishes at 4pm, so you can't get that. Although... Uh, the nine piece for ten ninety five. No, that's finished too. That's only on Tuesdays, I think. I'd say no. But go and get yourself some asparagus, and um, we'll go to Coles and get a half chicken or something. Uh, Carla said the gyro I ate looked great. Yeah, it was great. Man, I love eating that stuff. And this beer here. It's all right. Now it's pretty tasty. It's definitely one that you could like smash a few of and with those low carbs, mate, your beer gut will be really grateful. And yeah, I'd give this probably a, well, at this stage today, who knows what tomorrow would be like. But the, for this pure, pure blonde, I'd give that about a, a 3.25, I reckon. What I'd give this one a 2.75. Uh, that was 3.25. This, this one's the winner. Of course, it's always going to be, isn't it? Right, now I've done that beer review. Let's just enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Okay, it is Thursday. Let's celebrate. Cold today. Yeah, it's a crappy old day today. It was raining uh, when I woke up and then it was just showers most of the day. Uh, I had to... As soon as I saw it raining, I went through all my plants out in the rain, as you do. And um, yeah, so that's where. <laughs> so I got all my plants out there now, getting all the rain, thank goodness. <laughs> See you, Brandon. Uh, after 4 p.m. Oh, you have done it. Oh, okay, well. If you can get it after 4 p.m., why not? Red Roos have the best fries. Yep, they have got some good fries. And I saw that they've got a uh, a $5 uh, loaded chips there, which I was thinking about doing tomorrow. If I've... Let me just get rid of this thing. Someone sent me a text thing and it's blocking my stuff. Uh... And I was thinking about, oh, should I? I've got a video made that I could use tomorrow. Although if I did go tomorrow, I could always whip into Red Rooster, try their chips, and then uh, do a quick edit and upload. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Cheers from Arizona. Oh, I wish I was in Arizona right now. Getting some nice warm air. Oh, I'd love that. Too nippy for beer. You've got to be dreaming, dream. That's why I got this. <laughs> Apparently it gives you a shopping, shocking headache if you drink too much. Luckily, I'd only be having one or two shots. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a half bottle sort of guy today. But, uh, well, I, I might have a shot actually because, well, I've got a bit of lemon here and... 
The shot glass has just been sitting there for some reason. I haven't got any salt though, and I do love my lip sip suck. But this was uh, sixty dollars um, for a liter, reduced from like seventy two. God, spirits here is obscene price of spirits. Um, David Apps. Oh, thanks, David. Have a beer on me, Mayday. Oh, cheers. Cheers, David. I will. Don't you worry about that. I'll probably have seven on you, actually. Maybe ten. Not all at once. Or maybe. Who knows? We've got seven and a half degrees in, Mel in Mildura. Coldest in 74 years. I tell you what, I don't know about this global warming, but this has been one of the coldest winters I and wettest I can remember. So, uh, well, if you know, I think that says quite a lot about the, the whole thing. Seasons, temperatures, they go up, they go down. Some years are hotter, some years are colder. Newport, come for a cone, mate. Well, where do you live? A red rooster tomorrow with lots of excitement. <laughs> it's too early to crack a hose, eh? Mate, it's 4.30. In America, in uh, California right now, it's 11.30 p.m. Is that too late to be cracking one? Uh, why did I tame down my swearing in videos? <sighs> Fuck if I know, mate. You know, I used to just swear a lot back then because it was fun and hip and cool. Uh, but now, well, I just don't feel the need to swear. Swearing's all right. I mean, I'd still do swear sometimes. But I my, see, when I grew up, like my mum and dad, they never swore. They never swore. They never... I heard mum say shit once, and I heard dad say shit once. And that was when I was... I mean, even now, uh, I heard dad, he died, but I only ever heard him say shit once. And mum, I've heard say shit maybe three times. And two of them were when she was telling a joke. So, I mean, they just never swore. Not like parents nowadays. <laughs> well, I go to my, I go to friends' houses and it's like F-bombs and everything. And it's like, oh, mate. And the kids are like going off. So I just put it down to that, you know, not swearing as because I was brought up in a household that, well, swearing, we just never swore. So I didn't, I didn't even know the C word until I was probably like 12. So I never heard of it. Never heard of it. What F? I was probably about 11 or something before I heard that word. Never even knew what it meant or was. It wasn't on TV. Now it's on TV, of course. Everyone's saying that. Is it too early to crack? Oh, is it too early to crack? Oh, oh, I see. Not it is. Dyslexia, you see. It's my new glasses. I can't even read with them. Uh, uh, it's sad to see me spend the hard-earned money on a sandwich or burger that doesn't deliver. <laughs> Mate, nothing delivers unless you make it yourself. And even then, I tell you what, I've disappointed myself many a time. Well, I mean, there's a lot of rubbish out there, and that's what I'm trying to save you guys money from not wasting your money on it. See, my $10 can save you $10. Um, am I watching any series? Well, well, I finished uh, Bad Blood. That was a bit disappointing because I was really enjoying that. Uh, what else? And then I started watching um, El Chapo, but it's all in Spanish. And halfway through, they keep changing all the characters. 
like they changed El Chapo like after the first few series, like when he grew up, and then he turned into this really totally different person. And then his wife, who was really beautiful, they changed her into this really old, crusty-looking bird. I'm like, what's going on? So, and it is in Spanish, and I'm just trying to watch it just to help with my Spanish. And now I watch the the real narcos with that guy that goes into the jungle with the narcos. And that was only three, it was only like a three or four part series. And I finished that and I was like, ah, oh, damn it. So now I'm thinking, what can I watch? I'll jump on later on and just scour through the rubbish. I actually, I realized that uh, Netflix is just full of rubbish. <laughs> Oh, what was I watching it last night? Oh, I watched uh, Scarface. Yeah, Scarface came up in the feed, and I was like, "Oh, oh, I might watch that." And that even that movie just jumped all over the place. It kept going like he's suddenly he's really poor, then suddenly he's living in this mansion that's incredible. So, mate, all I that's why I made YouTube videos in the first place because there's so much rubbish out there. And I figured, well, I might as well watch me. At least I make myself laugh. Ah, nothing else will. I'll oh, make me laugh. Harvey Bay. Okay. G'day, Natalie. Uh, ER, hello. <laughs> I've said it a few times in front of my parents now, just to get the reaction. Uh, Ben's Tunes. Thanks very much, Ben. Thirsty, thirsty. Enjoying the tunes with Brian Sai. Oh, thanks. Yeah, a lot of those. Um, that one with me singing on the first one, uh, that was the first time we'd ever played it. <laughs> and my voice, well, you can do it with some training. I didn't do my me, 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 I actually watched a video on the uh, uh, vocal warm ups and it was a mm, 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 mm. and then the <laughs> oh, Thirsty Thursday. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, Ben Stunes. He's in Victoria. Aren't you? You're a Mildura, aren't you? I think. Well, I was thinking about doing a. I was thinking about doing a. Uh, a food review on this channel and just absolutely. Just go and burg out on it. Because I still need to make a few videos. Um, one was for Robbo. He wanted me to get the um, the Subway uh, with uh, Old English Cheese or something. I think it was that. I've got it written down in my notepad here somewhere. And then someone else asked me to do the McDonald's. Uh, so it might be on this one. Somebody else asked me to do the... Uh, crispy barbecue chicken burger at Macca's and well, I mean oh, Subway with old English cheese oh yeah that's right um, so I was thinking oh, maybe I could do it on this channel just for something a little bit different hmm. maybe I could do it live hopefully if I did it somewhere where the reception was good it might upload properly not like on that video I did the other day <laughs> Where the music was like, <laughs> anyway, this uh, pure blonde's not going down as fast as it probably should. <sighs> not bad. Not bad. Still do have this one here. The Cascade Premium Light, which Wilbur Worm also wanted me to do, but um, I think he he thought maybe we might have some more Cascade sort of stuff up here, but we don't. That's about all we got.
Good day, all the new people coming in. I've pretty much done my beer reviews, and well, actually, uh, I was just going to try my new Jose Cuervo. And well, I need to get some salt, so I'll go to the kitchen and grab some. Right. My new oven, I used it for the first time today, and well, it sounded really good. Well, it didn't say it sounded good. Actually, it sounded terrible. It's got the, let me show you. So it's got this ticking. Takes a little while. But then you hear like this ticking start. Just wait. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. It's got a light too. Hear that? Got this ticking. Ah, the old ticking. Should send an email down to whoever it is, Biko. Say, Biko, I want a new oven, except I don't want a new oven because then I have to get it reinstalled. Although my mate, uh, my new mate, Jonathan, he could probably do it for me. And it, actually, that's sounding a lot better than it did. I think maybe because I used it once uh, with the heat on, it might have fixed it. Well, that's what I'm hoping that it would do. I'm sure later on, wherever it's hitting, the metal will wear down and fix it all up. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, you're in Miami in Florida, dude. Do you know it's like, uh, it's nearly like 2 a.m. there? Uh, what do you think of mukbangs? Eh, I just don't understand them. <laughs> it's like, for starters, I don't like overreading on them. These mukbangs, they're for the young kids to do nowadays. I'm too old for a mukbang. The thing I always do is, I mean, I hate overeating. There's, one of the worst feelings for me is that feeling of you, you really sickly full stomach. I just don't like it. And so that's why I, I don't really do those sort of mukbang things, even though I could just do like a simple mukbang, like a couple of sandwiches. <laughs> Or that one box, but still, you're eating too much food, isn't it? I mean, even though you might get a few more views and whatever, but I'm an old man and I've got to think of my health. And that's why I drink alcohol, yes. Just like many old people. I found the old people, the older you get, the more alcohol you drink. I don't know if it must be uh, in your genes or something. Oh, Judas and Martha, holy cow. Crack the Jose and give us a review. I tell you what, I'll give you more than just a review for that. Thanks very much, Ricky. Actually, Robert Hayes only paid for about that much of the bottle. You, you paid for the rest of it. I was being really generous for him. He was generous, though. I'm going to write your name on the back of it. Write it. Well, here's a... Is that what you look like, by the way, Ricky? Well, Judas and Martha? There's Jose right there. So Robert Hayes, he did give me some money and, well, it, really, it didn't really afford this whole bottle, but uh, I was just being kind to him and, well, he did, you know, fork out for me, but, yeah. Uh, because Ricky is always giving me money for because he's a big tequila fan and he has converted me, Judas and Martha, he has converted me into the tequila. And I tell you what, thank you very much for that because I really love tequila now. It's like it's like one of my favourite things. I don't know if that's a good thing though, Judas and Martha. I'm not sure if I'm really hundred percent 
behind appreciating what you did for me. But I'm sure that I am. Deep, deep down, I do love this stuff. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Judas and Martha, a.k.a. Ricky, you're on the back. You're above the head. Robert's on the front. And I will crack this open straight after I finish this. Okay, let's crack it open. Sweet ass. Woohoo! Here we go. How to open a Jose Cuervo. The headache maker, apparently. Did you hear that? Oh, no, it hasn't got a plug in it. I love that 1800 bottle because it's got the plug. Ah. <sighs> You know, the slow pourer. I wonder if I can rip it out of the old bottle. Can you take out the plug thing from the old bottle? I'll tell you what, let's give it a go. Okay. I've got the old bottle here still. And I've got a pair of pliers like thing. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's getting dark now, everyone. Right. Let's see if I can take it out and reassemble. Because that would be really handy if I could do that. So I've got this old bottle here. Beautiful bottle. And my friend in America told me that um, the cap has got a one standard pour thing in it. So you can pour one standard drink. Here we don't have that. Okay. Let's see, I've got the uh, the ultimate tool here. Oh, I just snapped it. Oh. I knew that was never going to work, but it was worth giving it a go. Oh. Now it's just breaking off everywhere. So the verdict, no, you can't take it out. That's a shame. Uh, I've been to a Formula One. I went to one in Barcelona. It was just like, it was so, it was just like, yeah, yeah. And it was really loud and you spent your whole time. I think I, eventually I got some earplugs, but it was the most worthless, worthless thing I've ever been to, the Formula One. No, I just can't get into it. And now they don't even have grid girls because of the, the Marxists, it's like, nah. No, I don't, as soon as the Marxist wrecks things, mate, that's me, I'm done with them. I'm done with Formula One. Unless they invited me, of course, and I'd be really, really enjoying it. Yeah, it smells all right. Nectar of the gods. The, the thing I like about, um, the tequila is it's made from uh, the agave and I've actually got some agave in my garden it's not the it's not the blue agave which they use for this but still I do like my agaves but uh, here's to you uh, Ricky it smells like the 1800 unless it all smells the same I think it tastes fairly similar. Um, I think it's got a little bit of a, well, a little bit more like, <laughs> sort of, if you know, if that translates into a language. Um, it's actually pretty good. And I can't really tell the difference. It's got a real extra aftertaste than the other tequila. Um, but hey. Might have got a full litre of it here. Let's see how long this lasts. I should write the date on it. Actually, no, I shouldn't. So that was the uh, that was the other one I had. That was that was good. That one, but it was the same colour as this one. So it was the 
the one that's been aged in oak barrels. What if there's some spiel on this? Since 1795. Jeez. Uh, has been made in only one way and only one place. Jose Cuervo Distillery in Le Rojera, no, Le Rojera, I need my other glasses. Le Rojena. Uh, I can't even read that. <laughs> I get these brand new glasses and I can't even read. I need my other pair of glasses to read that and that's in the other room. Still, I mean, this is, hey, this is pretty good. And I got the full litre for 60 bucks. Well, I was stoked about that. That's another half day of good times. Mm. Powerball, Powerball's 80 million tonight. Ah, oh, damn, I wish I'd known that. <laughs> It's looking like a bottle at my house. Have a look. It's like, oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> They'll have to start calling me Dan. Greg Murphy, maybe. <laughs> Let's go to Greg Murphy's. Was that a Molson? No, the uh, Molson last night, I've got the uh, Pure Blondes. These are the low cards. I just did a review on these ones, and this one won. Only just, though. They're, all, they're both pretty good, but uh, they're really low carbs. Probably like a Bud Light or something. I think the Bud Lights are low carbs. But still, I mean, if you want a low-carb beer, they taste good. Mm. Let me get some of these glasses out of the way. I like my place neat and tidy. Uh, these plants are fake, both these ones. Yeah, they are dead set fake plants, which is okay because um, uh, this room is very dark. It's a very dark room and nothing would live here otherwise. So the only thing I have to do with these ones is maybe take it into the shower every now and then and just hose them off, get the dust off. Oh, now I got bits of broken plastic lying around from that from that lid. Oh, rats. Oh, that was a good drop, actually. That um, I was enjoying that one. Now yeah, Judas and Martha's onto something else. Uh, what was I doing? God, I'm really far behind the comments. Hang on. Uh, hi, Emmy. <laughs> chili oil. The Ching Chow Chow Chili Oil. That was good, that chili oil. I haven't seen it since. I'm sure it is. <laughs> no, I haven't found anything edible in my beard yet. I uh, found, uh, I mean, stuff you can suck on. I mean, after a good feed, you know, it's always got, I've always got some sauce or something in there. I could bring it out, though, onto a sausage roll and, and get that happening. Where's Brian? Um, I think he was doing a bit of editing for some music uh, editing. He's, he's really full on into his music. Three fingers is a standard pour. Well, three fingers would be to the top. <laughs> and I don't know who that standard... It depends what glass. I mean, I've seen in when I've been watching those, um, like, uh, those, uh, those shows with all the... What are they, you know, with the narcos? They've got the really skinny, tall thing. And if I had the skinny, tall glass, yeah, three fingers. But this is a short, fat one. Which are probably three, that, which I'm guessing that would be, and I've already had some, I'm guessing that would be about the same. Um, 
am I having to, for dinner tonight? That's a good question because I made this um, this uh, baked salmon in the oven for lunch for a video, and it was a big feed. So I'm not really that hungry. I'm thinking that it could be uh, maybe just. Well, I'll see. I'll see if I get hungry because I've decided that maybe eating just once a day is enough. Plus, I didn't get to do any exercise today because it was raining. So I didn't get to go out for my walk and do my two hours of, of hardcore exercise. So um, I don't know. I, I, if if I, I was thinking about it before and I thought maybe just I got some tomatoes that are going off in the fridge. Uh, like they're getting all crinkly. So I thought I'd cut the top off and then just use the rest of it to make a toasted sandwich or something. Maybe a single slice, one piece of bread with some uh, tomato and cheese and some of that pizza sauce. <sighs> That's good stuff, that one. That I used on that uh, toasted sandwich the other day. I bought jars of it. It's only $2 for the jar. Mate, I can pull out the cheese out of the fridge, pour it into my hand and then get that pizza sauce and just cover it in there. Yeah, mate. Anyway, Judas and Martha gave me a, um, a chore. And I'm not going to let him down. Mmm. I need some kosher salt. That'd be good. Mm-mm. Not bad. Mm. I tell you, thanks to you, Judas and Martha, rediscovering the lip sip suck was one of the best things that's happened to me. So, thank you very much. <laughs> mm. Mate, I love it. Absolutely love it. Things have been good today, except um, I didn't get to do my exercise and I really love doing the exercise. And I didn't get any done today, which is kind of, uh, well, it just means that I know that I'm not going to sleep as well tonight because normally uh, my body doesn't like it when I don't do exercise and uh, I just get like sore, my back gets sore, my body's sore, then I'm tossing and turning and I really like it. Uh, I'm, my body craves exercise, so um, yeah, I can just tell already tonight I probably won't sleep as well as probably I should. Uh, although after a couple of these um, tequilas, who knows what will happen, I might have a really nice night's sleep. Pray for you in Melbournians. Oh, mate, you'll be all right. It's only a cold after all, isn't it? It's nothing serious. Is it? I don't know. Everyone that I speak to thinks, um, well, nearly everyone is just thinking, you know, it's, it's probably something that's never going to go away. So, um, yeah, just get people the herd immunity, you know, get the herd immunity happening. Oh, thanks, Danny Barnett. Danny Barnett. Hmm, that's a good name, that one. Uh, you don't live in Victoria anymore. Oh, watch this. Watch this thing today on Facebook. Somebody posted it. And it was like the Victorian Premier, who looks like an absolute goofball, saying, oh, Victoria is the best state in the world. And don't go to South Australia. Why would anyone want to go there? It doesn't matter if they block the borders. No one wants to go to South Australia anyway. Everyone wants to go to Melbourne or Victoria. I'm like, well, I don't want to. Especially not in winter. 
Oh my goodness. Even in summer, you're pushing it down there. It's too cold down there. It's like, who wants to go to the Arctic? Oh, yeah, me. Well, not really. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to the Arctic. Wouldn't mind, actually. Only because I haven't been there. But, yeah. You're, um... Who's your Premier down in Victoria? He's a communist, isn't he? He's one of the commies. He's a... Uh, is he Labour or something? <laughs> He's a Labour. He's a lab Labour Party, isn't he? You'll be at Uncle Dan's tomorrow and give the Hosea crack for tomorrow's sesh. How many bottles do you go through, Judas and Martha? There was some other one. Oh, Patron. Patron's on special, actually. Next, um, I'll have to write that down, actually. I'll write that down because I saw the Patron was on special, even though it's still expensive. No, it's too late now. This one's going to, this bottle's going to last a little while at least. But I wouldn't mind trying the Patron. Hmm. That toasty looked awesome. It was, mate. Oh, Karen Foster. G'day, Karen. Intermittent fasting. Yeah, well, I, I have. I've actually... Um, I used to just do the three meals a day, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'd get up and have breakfast, even though I didn't feel like it, because people were saying, oh, you've got to eat breakfast. I'm like, mm, okay, well, I'll, I'll start off with a breakfast. And then my friend, one of my best friends, Shannon, she started um, doing this fasting where she only ate one time a day, and that was generally about 4 or 5 p.m. or dinner time. And she lost like eight kilos or something. And I was like, oh, I might give this fasting thing a go. So I, I have been doing it. Mind you, I've been doing like lots of exercise as well, but um, I don't eat breakfast. And generally I make a video of some sort, a food one, where I go and eat something. And that's my major food for the day, even though it's probably rubbish. And then if it is rubbish I'm eating that day, I'll make a just a tiny little salad at night time and just plow through that. So I'm eating like one and a half meals a day and I don't miss eating. I, don't, I just don't even miss it. It's the bomb drink, is it? Yeah, I mean, the, the fasting, I'm, I'm all for the fasting. Eat once a day. Maybe twice if you really need to. <laughs> that means you have to drink more. Uh, what's that? New South Wales is cold. I lived in Sydney for six months and that was pretty cold. Wasn't too bad though. One meal a day, like the caveman did. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can, I can see why people only eat once a day. I mean, if you don't feel like, if you don't feel hungry, then don't eat. Pretty easy. Uh, no, this is Miss Cow with the worm. I couldn't find anything with the worm. I wanted to find the worm, but there was nothing with the worm, so I couldn't get the worm. Yeah, maybe some fruit later on, although fruits do have lots of sugars in them, so if you like the sugar stuff, then go for it. Uh, you do a 20 to 25 kilometer cycle. Yeah. Yep, mate, cycling's great. I tried to do a cycle with a walk and a slight jog as well. If the knees are feeling up to it. Oh, it's getting dark outside now. What time's at five? Well, at least the day's getting longer. We're past the uh, winter solstice. You do one meal a day, do you, Chris? You just have one filled roll a day and feel great. That's all you need to have, Dave. 
I think when you're a younger kid or in your 20s or something and your metabolism's just churning through stuff, then yeah, eat more. But when you're, you know, closer to 70, when you're in your early 40s, <laughs> um, then your um, metabolism slows right down. And, uh, must be another time for a lip sip suck here, I reckon it is. How cold does it get in Spain? Uh, well, I lived in Barcelona and it was a real annoying temperature there. It was, um, it was like maximums of 15 or something. So it was warm enough to maybe just have a, a t-shirt on or something, a long t-shirt on sometimes, but then that was too cold. And then, um, so you'd have to put a jumper on and, I was always taking jumpers on and off when I lived in Barcelona. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was all right though. I mean, summers were nice. Uh, the air pollution in Barcelona though was pretty bad. It was really bad air pollution there and constantly. <laughs> Two fifteen lights. Oh my god. Oh dear. Uh, in my early 20s, that's right, I am. Now, what are you doing, two or three a week off? Barcelona, si, sí, senor. Barcelona. It was hard, it was tough living in Barcelona because they speak two languages. And it was Catalan and Spanish, so when you're a newbie there, and there's like this Spanish, and but it doesn't sound right. And you're like, what's going on? Oh, that's Catalan. It's like, oh, great. I have to learn two languages. But in the end, they were fair. They were sort of similar. And there was just a few words there that like Shushente Boit, which was, um, I forget what Shushente Boit was. I think it was like 68 or something or number 69. I always thought that number was really funny. Frost on the car windows this morning in Tassie. Jeez. I do love my exercise. I really, if, I mean, a day without exercise to me is really tough. I, I, I love exercise. I just, I crave it. My body craves it. And, well, something else my body craves is well, some of this. The old, the old Rob Hayes with a slight hint of Ricky. All righty. Does it snow in Australia? Yeah, down south it does. No, it, it snows up here too on uh, at Stanthorpe. Really, it's like every five years they might just get a dusting of snow. I think the elevation up there is about four or 500 meters or something. And it does snow there. Actually, it could snow. No, it's a bit too warm now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it did snow though in uh, Stanthorpe this year. So it snows in Stanthorpe, New South Wales, Tasmania. Now, I don't know if it snows in South Australia. It must snow maybe on the hills somewhere. I don't think it snows, it definitely wouldn't snow up in, oh no, it snowed at Ayers, Ayers Rock. I've seen snow on Ayers Rock. Not seen it personally, but I've seen the video footage. And um, I'm not sure if it's snowed in Western Australia. I'm sure the Western Australians could tell me. I'm probably pretty sure it must have. So I'd, I'd say yes, it, well, it does snow and I'm pretty sure it must have snowed in every state. Uh, but it's a rare occurrence in the north. Uh, 90 degrees in Miami with 90% humidity. Yeah, that's just like here in summer. I love it. Um, uh, so you go for a bike ride to 
to help with your bipolar and depression. Yeah, right. Exercise is great for that. That's why I love it. Because I'm just like, I mean, it's so hard to get out. But as soon as I pull out of my house and I've gone 20 meters down the road on my push bike, my eye am like, yes, I cannot wait. But from getting to here, to my bike and out the front gate, that's the hardest thing. But once you've got out that front gate, then it's like, yes! And then it's just endorphin rush for the rest of the trip. Your Premier, your Victorian Premier, he's a goofball. Who voted him in? We all know who did. Poor Victorians, mate. Well, you know what? When you live in a, a, a communist state and you vote for a communist leader, you, you become a communist. Do we have Wendy's here? Yeah, we do, but it's not the Wendy's that you have, I don't think. Next minute, straight in the summer. <laughs> well, I do. I love exercise. Absolutely love it. Radio. Yeah. It's not that cold at the moment. I've got all the house. I don't own a heater. So it's not cold enough here to own a heater. Although some, all I've got is a few blankets, you know, I've got the blanket on my couch over there. But you can't see it. I've got a blanket there. And um, that's all you need, it's just a blanket. <laughs> well, that's an insult, Kurt. I own Aussie who lives in Auckland. You know, I've never been to New Zealand. I really need to go there one day. Daniel Andrews, is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> now, Brisbane can get cold in winter. It gets like four or three degrees in the western suburbs, but oh, mate, just throw a blanket on. Oh, I do. Uh, my air conditioner is a reverse cycle. So if I re if I got if it was snowing outside, then I'd probably turn the reverse cycle on. But save electricity, I reckon. Oh, thanks, Brizzy. I actually I sent a photo of these uh, glasses to my mum today. She goes, "You look fifty years old with those on." I was like, "Well, maybe because I am." <laughs> Then I put my blue ones on. She goes, oh, that's much better. So, yep, yeah, my mum's giving me grief. Are you watching, mum? Hi, mum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oven. That's all you need to do is cook something on the oven. That's enough to warm your house. Dictator Dan. Here's the Dictator Dan. <laughs> mm, I love salt. Mm. Oh, that's good. You grew up in Toowoomba. Mate, it gets cold there. Bring Brian over. Do I like a sub sandwich? Mate, my favourite uh, Subway sandwich I remember getting them uh, when they first opened up. I remember I was working in, um, I was working for the Health Insurance Commission, uh, which is Medicare and Medibank Private, in the city. And that was about 1986 or 1987. And this thing called Subway opened up. And it was about, a kilometre and a half away from the office. But every lunchtime, I I used to, I fell in love with it straight away. I was like, oh, this is great. So I used to go walking down there and get the, um, the one I just fell in love with was the seafood one, you know, with the seafood extender, 
and they stick the ice cream scoop in, they scoop out a few of those and they fill up the bun. I don't care what bun it is, they all taste the same to me, but I used to love that one. Mm -hmm. I still do. It's my If I ever go to Subway, uh, generally that's the one I always get. And if Robbo's still here, I reckon that's probably the one I'll get. Um, he just said, get one with old English cheese, and I tell you, uh, that's the one I'd be getting, the seafood extender one. Oh, I love that one. Australia's about to be the West Island of New Zealand. I don't think so, mate. I don't think so. Well, New Zealand's got, uh, I know a few people that are moving over here from New Zealand uh, to get away from uh, that their communist leader that they've got there at the moment just because they can't stand her. So hopefully they'll vote her out in the next election. You like the meatballs? The honey bread? Mate, I haven't even, I haven't been to Subway for a while except for that last video and I tried that rubbish that they had. Subway's owned by Macca's now, is it? Yeah. The Neptune salad? No, it wasn't a salad. Pizza sub? Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, Robbo's still here. The Subway Italian, yeah, that one's not bad. I don't mind the uh, the deli meats. <laughs> Kumquat would have to be the worst name plant ever. Oh. Well, I don't know. I'm sure I don't know if there's some wor worse name plants there. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if you guys out there can come up with some worse name plants. But Kumquat is always a, a it's always a party starter, that one. And it's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny name. Yeah, it's funny. The only, only the like on my Facebook feed, it's always like the, the women that love her, that New Zealand leader. It's always the women. Oh yes, yeah, she's a great leader. So I'm just by there biting my tongue. Oh, she's a great leader if you like uh, communism and, and running your country into the ground. Yeah, she's great. She is a people person though, isn't she? She seems all right. Still a commie though. The BMT. The Barn Me. Don't mind a barn me though, but you're right. Ah. Quiznos. Well, actually, uh, I noticed here. What was the? Uh, uh, there's the. There's those uh, subway place. I've done a few reviews. But anyway, they they're from America. And it looks like they're closing down here anyway. Just a bit of a shame. <laughs> uh, you've only had Subway four times. Oh, good day, New, Z uh, New South Wales. <laughs> New Zealand, New South Wales, same thing. Only joking. Jacinta's a hugger, you reckon? I do miss the chicken rice from Asia. I really do. Oh, Dream? Is that his real name? Goodness me. I reckon, well, I've bought another one of these. Oh, gee. Should I go another one, though? Oh, Robert Hayes? Yeah. Did you miss anything? Yeah, look. I got the Robert Hayes, uh, Jose Cuervo. Although you only paid for this much of the bottle, so I had to give uh, the rest of the bottle to someone. And, well, as you can probably see up the top of the chat, Judas and Martha came in with another thing. So, um, well, that's Judas and Martha on the back, Ricky. So that's what I spent your money on.
So thanks, Robert Hayes. Just something a little bit different, you know. And thanks to Judas and Martha, he's got me under these tequilas and I'm really, really loving it. Oh, are there any other jobbers working at a fish and chip shop? Oh, you know, I wonder if, how good a fish and chips were. I wonder. Hmm. You know, I didn't mind Gillard until, well, she was a she was a Labor person, and as soon as uh, you know what Labor governments are like, they love taxing people. They love introducing taxes. Any excuse to rip the people off, so it can pay it can pay for their hair hair brain schemes. And I was all for um, Gillard until she brought in the, um, what was that, the carbon tax. It's like, uh, well, actually, everything's made of carbon. That's made of carbon. That's made of carbon. This is made of carbon. Everything's made of carbon. Oh, let's tax it then. No. Boom, boom. You're gone. Dun, dun. Absolute straight out the door. And uh, yes, you wouldn't see me. Uh, I wouldn't be going down that road again, at least anyway. Tax Inder. <gasps> Jacinda is beautiful. I mean, she's cute. Better than Gillard by far. Come on, Robbo. I don't think so. What do I do in my spare time? Mate, you're looking at it. Some of this. Oh, I go for long bike rides and long walks. And um, that's about it. I love exercise. In my spare time, I just exercise. Exercise, exercise, exercise. I love exercising. Uh, just... Tax Inder. Is she hiking up the taxes, is she? No wonder everyone's leaving New Zealand. She couldn't run a... Uh, she couldn't run a lemonade stand. And her opposition is a Trump lover. Oh, no. no. Depends who gets in, I guess. Well, of course, she, Gillard lies. She's a Labor, isn't she? That's what they do best. The carbon tax was a joke. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, Bert. Tol, toldo. Toaldo. Drink it up. Okay, Toaldo. Bert Toaldo has given me the heads up. I'll tell you what. Thanks a lot, Ricky. Damn. Look what you've turned me into. Oh no, I didn't um, cut my lemon first. Looks like I've got to cut a big lemon first. One handed, without tipping the salt off my hand. Ah, there goes the salt. Not too much, though. Mm. Oh, yeah. You're on the Bombay gin. Is that the sapphire? At the end of the day, politicians are only in it for their... Sweet, sweet pensions. Well, they get like $300,000 a year and it's not even means tested. Ridiculous. Mmm. That was good. Hey, Lance. Come to the UK, you have Boris and his buddies on one side. 
others on the bunch of useless pals. Uh, you, you guys in England are screwed. I'm so glad someone in my family stole a loaf of bread. Seriously. Um, I, I had that guy next door who was from England, and he told me that in England, right, if, say, your parents owned a house and they died, you have to give the government 40% of what that house worth in a death tax. How bad is that? Oh, my God. This guy had a house on the Isle of Wight, which apparently is pretty trendy. He said he had to come up with a lot of money. So after your parents die and you inherit something, the government gets 40% of it. That is highway robbery. That is so disgusting. I was disgusted when he told me that uh, that's what they do in England because I don't do it here. Death tax. And it was 40% of the property price. That means if your place is worth a million bucks, you've got to come up with $400,000 to give to the government. Absolutely disgraceful. Oh, man. If I was a... Uh, if I was a politician, I'd be running on a, uh, abolish the death tax. Kevin Rudd, he was an absolute... I'm still annoyed at him. And he's another Labor politician. Oh, God, the Labor politicians, they love taxing people. The thing I'm annoyed with him is, you know, those pre-mixed uh, bottles or cans of alcohol... Now he put the price of those up there with a 30-something percent tax on them. So now they cost a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, whose dog's barking? Uh, that's a currawong, I think. How good's tequila, mate? I love it. Do I like Trump? Mate, I think he is the most... Uh, the media has just absolutely slaughtered him for absolutely no reason. He has been the most attacked person in the world. And the fact that he's still able to hold his head up high is absolutely amazing. I think what he does is gives us all a hope you know, is just, you've got to stand up to the mob. <laughs> that's not true in the UK. Well, that's what he was telling me. The big basket. <laughs> Kevin Rudd. Oh, God. He was embarrassing. Get off politics. No one likes politics. Uh, Trump's the only one who can stand up to China. I'll tell you what, uh, who, wh whoever our prime, minister, our prime Minister is, he's standing up to him. Of course, the ABC is getting up. And, although the ABC are a communist uh, bunch of uh, alt-left fascist Marxists and racists. So you never believe anything the ABC says. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, how long have I been going? It's like an hour and a half. I'm not going to have a long one tonight. That's what she said. Hey, Brian. COVID wiping out LD and infants. I haven't seen any infants dying. Only people dying from COVID are like 99-year-olds. Oh, the people that, yeah, I, th I think the most people, the people that hate Trump are, um, they hate America. They they hate uh, Western society and Western values and they they want um, anarchy and uh, they're, they're racist. The people that, 
like uh, like the Democrat Party, there's just a bunch. They are serious. They they're just racists and bigots and sexists. Um, they hate white people. Uh, they hate uh, Western society. Uh, they hate um, they hate themselves pretty much. That's what it all boils down to. They just hate themselves. Probably brought up, you know, by a single mum or something. They had no dad. Had no dad to whoop, give them a, a nice hiding. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's. But that's the left all over the world. That's uh, like the Greens here, or the the communist parties. Yeah, it's all, it's all, uh, mate. That's why I try and uh, not talk about it because it's just depressing, you know. It's just depressing. But there is out there, there is a massive silent majority. And, um, well, that's why uh, people like ScoMo won the last election. Because it's the, all the massive, it's the, there's a massive silent majority out there. Who are just like, who don't want uh, riots and their towns burnt down. And, you know, Marxists telling us what we can and can't say. <laughs> Stuff them. No. If they want to start a war, mate, they will be shocked at how many people will be against them. So, hmm. very interesting times it is, though. Very interesting. And it's all thanks to uh, uh, the fake news media and, um, well, I mean, it's it's social media. You've got uh, your Twitter, which is a, a cesspit for the degenerates of society. And then you got uh, Facebook, which is just the same sort of people. Yeah, but that's uh, all. But without, I mean, it's, since social media has come into play, it's just, uh, you know, everyone can voice their opinion, but everyone's too scared to say anything. And yeah, free speech has been killed. And But it's not really, because everyone's still saying it. It's just not on social media. And they're saying it at the uh, voting ballots. When people start burning down your town and saying, yeah, make sure you vote for this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll vote for him. No, I'm not voting for him. I'm going to vote for my guy. Yeah, let's see. What's going on? Uh, where am I up to? Completely disagree with me. You still like and respect me. No, oh, mate, all my, I've got lots of friends that disagree with me. Uh, we're still friends, though. Kanye West running for president. Good for him. Why not? Mate, I might go and do that. What do you reckon? Maybe I can just go over to America and run for president. I haven't ridden my bike today, but uh, I'm sort of hoping tomorrow, if it's not raining, I will. What I think of MIGTO? Mate, I'm all for MIGTO. Why not? Why not indeed? I mean, if you want to be a, a single man and to go your own way, then do it. Yeah. Why not? Why not indeed? I don't even know that said, what you're talking about, Bert. And say something drinks. <laughs> Do I like Hillary? I better say yes, just in case I get Clinton. Oh, awesome, awesome woman. I'm still waiting for the uh, this whole thing with what's her name, uh, Maxwell, is it, to come out? That'll be really interesting. Very interesting indeed.
Bottoms up. That's what he said. Mm. Oh, did I? Yep. Ah. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I think that um, I think that Maxwell should be put maybe in a cell in the White House or something, or just in a room or somewhere away from anyone and everything, because I'm sure that she is going to. It's going to get really interesting, really interesting. So they should be locking her away somewhere that no one can get into. No worries, Darren. God bless. Oh, what's this one like? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's nice. I'm enjoying this one. It's, um, I mean, it's, I mean, compared to this one, from what I can remember, yeah, it's pretty tasty. Yeah, it tastes the same. I mean, it's made from the same plant. I guess it's maybe, well, well, I was going to say this compared to this, but it's not really. Oh, actually, yeah, this is 40%, and I think this is 38%. So it's got a, yeah, it's 38. So it's sort of been watered down a little bit, which I discovered when I watched uh, How to Make Tequila. Uh, they do water it down at the end because it's really high. It's really high in alcohol. Um, I don't know what that is, Bert. Oh, you're having a spag bowl. Oh, you're so lucky. On a flight to Tel Aviv. Well, you know, I reckon Epstein is, I reckon the, the whole, he has faked his death and he is living in a different country. If it was me betting on something, I reckon uh, he didn't actually die and he just paid off a whole lot of things. I mean, when you start watching all these narcos shows on on um, Netflix, oh, excuse me, and you're seeing the amount of money that uh, politicians or border guards or whoever is getting paid off, and the cameras were turned off and everything, you just know that a whole lot of money has changed hands. And I'm sure that he's living the life of luxury somewhere. Maybe he had a, a face transplant or, you know, made his nose different and put on heaps of weight or something. Uh, this tequila here was the same price as the 1800, uh, but it was a litre. But it was on special. It was on special. Soft drinks. A Jim Beam with ice. You don't agree with my politics. Oh no. You're not a Biden supporter. Oh jeez. Um, Big Chief. Hey, Brody. Yeah, I reckon there's a lot more to that story. Face off. Yeah. Well, it could be. It could be a face off. Uh, no, I don't actually, Brett. I don't remember Kate Large Cassie chips feeding a family 30 years ago. Hey, Darren. I had a Betty's burger yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Mate, they're pretty nice. I think their bun's a little bit too brioche or brioche, I should say. A little too brioche, but, uh, uh, you know, does the job. And it was pretty tasty. Oh, Mr. Beard's come in.
how long have I had the beard? Well, I've always like, I haven't shaved like for about 20 years. I always had some sort of stubble. Oh no, I have shaved when I used to work at the place and I just hate shaving. I just cannot see the point in it. Can't see the point in shaving. So I don't. Sure, it's getting a bit grey now, but I don't care. I mean, sure, I look at myself all day, every day, doing editing. But um, I just don't care, mate. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm not trying to impress anyone. All uh, right. Brian has a cooking channel now, has he? I haven't seen that. He told me we might be starting something up. Uh, do I know Eric Sean? Uh, no, I don't know him. Long hair and a Gandalf beard. Well, you never know, mate. I might, uh, I might just start growing my hair a little bit longer. I'm thinking about it. There's lots of things I think about. I used to have hair down to here, like for years, and it was a pain in the neck, which is why I, uh, it's a, which is why I have short hair because short hair is awesome compared to long hair. I hate long hair. Oh, well, I don't hate it. I like it, but it's a pain in the ass. And my hair, when it gets longer, it gets really wavy and curly, which uh, is probably, I used to try and straighten it all the time. I should have left it. Uh, yeah, I mean, shaving, uh, I always get the beard rash and I get breakout and yeah. Uh, Luke Smith, thank you very much, Luke Smith. What are you, what are you saying, Luke? I still haven't tried Hennessy. What is Hennessy? Yeah, let me open a window here. I'm sure I've looked at it before, but I better look it up again. Hennessy VSOP, oh, cognac. Yeah, well, no wonder I haven't tried it. I can't stand cognac. Cognac's like, ugh. What does VSOP mean on Hennessy? Very superior old pale. That makes me a VSOP, I reckon. I'm a VSOP. I mean, Konya, isn't that that really sour tasting stuff? And uh, it's just really. Oh. I write it on my list. I'll see if they might have a little bottle or something, and I'll try that. And let's see. Grow a mullet. Yes, now we're talking. Um, well, hopefully, you know, maybe I'll give Hennessy a go at some stage. Oh, Smithy. Where is Smithy? Oh, he's over there. Remember Smithy from my last uh, thing? Here's uh, this guy right there. Oh, Smithy. Just sits there working away, toiling. He's a worker. He's, uh, he gives me lots of respect. I mean, I, I respect him uh, as a person, you know. He's, he's the sort of person I want to be. Hard working. Now, whenever I see him, I'm, uh, you know, I'm inclined to just think, you know, that's what the forefathers of... Uh, modern day Australia worked towards. It was hard work. Could you imagine like all these farms that we have, every single thing like a hundred years ago, they would have had trees on them and everything, but they had to cut them all down by hand. Uh, did what built houses out of them and all that sort of stuff. And mate, hard work, 
hard work went into creating you know a great country like Australia in only a short few hundred years hard work why is there only 46 like 44 likes well you would have thought I would have got to 50 likes by now but you know people they don't like this sort of thing they prefer uh, like um, what's that guy it's like lives under his bed sheets and leave what's his name alone it was a lead Michael Jackson alone or something they like that sort of stuff. They don't like, um, well, I am a white man for starters. They don't like that. And, uh, well, I'm a male. They don't like that either. And what else? Um, well, I have my own opinions. They don't like that. They, they don't like that. And what else don't they like? Well, anything. If... If they don't like anything, they hate themselves even. So I wouldn't expect it, this to even get up to 60 likes. Uh, are there any beers left? Well, the only beer I had left was a Cascade Light. And well, I really didn't want to, I didn't really want to go there. Um. <laughs> Brucey will win. What's Brucey going to win? Oh, is there footy on tonight? Is it on free to wear? I might even watch it. Brisbane or Geelong? Where are they playing? They're playing in um, up here in the Free Society or down there in Communist uh, Geelong? See, I told you, I couldn't even get to 60 likes. Got stuck on 56. No. Oh, well. Cognac with a cigar. What? I hope I'm using Bing. I don't even know what Bing is. You see um, that fast bowler? Binger? Uh, Brett Lee. Is that what you're talking about? 59 likes. You see, I couldn't even get to 60. Couldn't even get to 60. Thank you very much, Luke. Uh, if I can see a small bottle of Hennessy, I'll be onto it. Oh, there we go, 60. It'll probably drop down now. Um, all right, uh, Jasper. Jasper Fredrickson. Jasper, are you from like um, the Sweden or something? Your surname is very Swedish. I've been to Sweden a few times. Met a lot of Fredricksons. The only meat I want is my thick one. <laughs> well, you'll be disappointed, mate. It's more like a chip a leader. Oh, well. Do I like brandy? Oh, maybe it's brandy I'm thinking about that I, I don't like. No, I don't like brandy. It's just that real sour sort of stuff. Thanks, Jasper. Um, what watch do I wear? <laughs> I don't wear any. I, I had a, um, a Fitbit. I still got it. I don't wear it though. I'd like an Amiga and I'd like a Rolex. I don't think I'll ever own one in my lifetime, but that's all right. I don't need one. Oh, I'm very well. Thanks, Anthony. A longiness. I might not love all those things. That's right, Jack. Oh, I think it's raining outside now. A gym beam on the rocks. Mm. Yeah, I read out the last dono. I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> Your mum's asking for money back. Before I gave you a shout out. You love a man with facial hair. That's nice. I do have some. And it just keeps every time I get rid of it. And the thing with the shaving as well, 
Every time you shave it off, it just keeps coming back, so... Right. You might as well just leave it. Leave Brittany alone. Yeah, that was it. Brittany. Yeah, that was it. Gee, I'm way behind in the comments. Oh, Bing is a Microsoft alternative to Google. Oh, okay, I don't, even, I don't even care about that, mate. I don't care. Oh, neutral territory. What's the point of that? Why are they playing it up in Brisbane? If it's Brisbane versus Geelong. It makes no sense. Mind you, it is raining up here, so it'd be a wet, slippery game. So I'm pretty sure uh, Geelong would flog us. But aren't we third on the ladder or something? Amazing. A Casio, mate. Casio is more down my line of watch. I've had many a watch, and I realise they're just a waste of money. I mean, what do you need a watch for when you can have a phone? It just tells you the same. It gives you the time. You, who cares what time it is? I don't need a watch. I had a watch and I bought a nice one and I recently just sold it. I sold it on um, Marketplace. It was, uh, I forget which brand it was. It might have been a Seiko or something, but it was really nice. It was really trendy, really cool. And I just fell in love with it, but I never wore it. So I was like, no, nah, I don't need a watch. I hate jewellery. Um, right, here we go. Let's see if I can get myself into more trouble. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Mount Gay Rum. Yeah, I used to drink that. Loved it. I thought it was awesome. It's on special. Epsom salts. Oh, I've got some Epsom salts. What, can your lips zip suck with the Epsom salts? I wonder if you can. Let me know down below. What's my favourite beer? I wouldn't have the faintest idea. I haven't found it yet. Uh, 4X Gold is my favourite, although I'm just realising now that after all these beer reviews that I've been doing and getting stuck into, like, the tequilas, is that... Maybe 4X Gold isn't uh, giving me the satisfaction that I need anymore. What's Marketplace? Marketplace is on uh, Facebook. It's like Facebook's uh, gum tree. It's pretty good. It's really good, actually. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace. It's on there. Mate, you just look for whatever. Someone's flogging it off. Um, well, I'm not on a public Facebook. I've got my own Facebook, like with my three and a half friends. So I'm not up there like with, uh, I don't, like I don't accept friend requests or anything because all I do on it is upload uh, stuff to uh, my uh, Greg's Kitchen page. And I look on Marketplace for bargains. Hopefully you find something that someone who doesn't know what it's worth is selling it really cheap and then buying it and then flogging it off for twice the price. Although I don't really do that much more anyway. I was into the bikes there for a while. I've still got quite a few bikes downstairs which I need to flog off, but I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, give you the trots. The Epsom salts, oh, okay. <laughs> G'day, Ernie. Ernie, I hope you've had your dinner, young man. You better eat your dinner tonight and go to bed early because that's what Dad says you should do. How was that, James? I could pass off as Andy in Shawshank Redemption. Was he like the um, the nerdy guy who was the uh, was he the um, the accountant? <laughs> oh 
normal, mate. I always have a look on Facebook. I, I normally, it's normally just the same people. Telling, telling the world how great their life is. In the first post, and then the next post is they, um, it's normally bipolars. I'm pretty sure Facebook is just for people with bipolar. <laughs> just, oh yeah, my life's great. And then the next post, I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you eat your dinner, Bernie. How much did Channel 9 pay me for the interview? Mate, you don't get paid for an interview. Reconnecting. Oh, and I'm live again. No, I don't, I don't get paid for anything. I wish I did. It'd be nice, nice to make some money. I don't think I've ever been paid for anything that I've ever done. Oh, I think when I first started uh, Greg's Kitchen, uh, Campbell's paid me like $1,500 to make three videos. I was like, yes! Um, but that was it. Ever since then, it's like, there's, I just, I don't even bother. I get lots of emails. I got people like, like today, I got this email from this company and they just, like they're saying, oh, we're going to send you like some meat. I'm like, well, how are you going to send me meat? What are you going to post it to me? Oh, yeah. And then we, and then they sent me this list of things that I had to do. Now, when you get it, you have to make a video, then you have to take photos and then you have to do this. You have to post it to this and you have to post it to Facebook. Then you have to post it to your thing. And then you have to post it to this. I'm like, and how much are you going to pay me for this? We were giving you some free meat. It's like, F off. Bloody scabby tight asses. That's why I don't want to be, resp I don't want to have that responsibility. And you never see like sponsored things. It may be in the future you will, but I mean, after this video, you probably won't, but I don't care. I don't care. People send me things and that's good enough. If somebody wants to send me a free thing, I'll stick up a photo of it. But uh, no, I never get paid for anything. YouTube pays me, and like you guys pay me. And um, yeah, um, the thing is, like a lot of people will try and just get you to make them a free ad. And it'll take you a whole day, and they, they want it for free. I say, well, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not giving you a free ad. Okay, it might only get seen by 10,000 people. But still, I mean, if you look on Facebook, the going rate is uh, to be seen, this ad to be seen by uh, 3,000 people is um, $35. So if you want 10,000, type it in on Facebook, it might be 120. You know, give me 120 bucks, I'll give you an ad. Actually, I ask for more than that. Normally, if they say, oh, how much for this? I always highball it. See how serious they are, and it doesn't bother me if they don't if I don't get it or if I they don't send the product to me. I don't care. I don't care, mate. And that's my problem. <laughs> it's like I could probably be doing so much better if I cared, but I just don't care. Mate. Especially when it comes to these companies who just want. They just want a free shout out for nothing. So no. Go to somewhere else. Uh, I have got the art of the deal. I haven't got past the chapter one yet. Actually, I think chapter one in the art of the deal is, you should probably just skip it. Uh, but I need to pull that out of the cupboard again because I whacked it in there. And I've got another one, um, The Barefoot Investor. <sighs> Wasted time, that book. Telling me nothing I didn't already know. Uh, <laughs> take the free mate and do a runner. Well, they want to post it to me. I don't want to give them my address anyway. Uh, yeah, well, I am self-employed, so. Oh, that's good. I love being self-employed. Except for that little stint where I was still self-employed, but I was working part-time. Um, mate, I hate 
working for someone else, I absolutely hate it. Because they're normally really dumb or just clueless or their time management's really bad or or they're just... You know, you go into an office and you waste half the day just dealing with other people's bullshit. So it's like, you know what, I'd rather just work by myself. Uh, was I in the military? No, I wish I was. I wish I had been. That would have been awesome. Uh, do I get a discount for the electrician? Maybe. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> but if you do need an electrician, what's up? What's up, electrical? Brisbane and the Gold Coast. Mate. Good. He's a good bloke, old Jonathan. I'll tell you what, he's got a good little business running there. I think he employs like 10 people or 15 people. So he's doing well for himself. So good on him. And thanks to Tradie Trev for getting me onto him. Good one, Brizzy. Anyway, I think it's time for one of these, and I might go soon, actually. Two hours, that's all I was going to do, so. Mm! Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh, mate, I tell you what. Ricky, if you're still watching, you can get an extra this much for the same price. And, well, I can't tell the difference. Mm. Yeah, Brian's good. Mm. You work for a major new conglomerate. That sounds interesting. That's right, Ben. <laughs> uh, I have to stay. No. Finishing your gym beam on the rocks. Well, that sounds good. When's the next gig? No idea. How does a bird touch a beard? Do they do this? Meow. <sighs> oh, some Daft Punk. Actually, you know what? I'm, I might go and put some um, either Daft Punk or uh, what's the other one we always listen to? Um, I'm the operator of my pocket calculator. Um, that one. You guys will tell me. Actually, I've got that Temple of the Dog written down here somewhere. So I remember that somebody... Here. See? Temple of the Dog. Got it written down right there. Temple of the Dog. What are these numbers? Well, I think there were some numbers that somebody sent me through. So I better cover those up. But yeah, Temple of the Dog. I'll write that down. I might go and find them. Craftwork. Yeah, that's them. But I'm loving my craft work recently. And there was another band that I found. They're actually from Melbourne. And it's like this uh, four-piece guitar band. And it only just came up in my feed. But I've made they, they're only young guys. But man, they are rocking it on the acoustics. So I've been watching uh, quite a bit of those. Hmm. Anyway, Venga Boys. No, the Venga Boys. I saw them once uh, when they were filming that. Uh, film clip that they did. The Benga bus is coming. Dun, 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 dun. I was in Barcelona when they were filming that. I was watching them film it. That's my claim to fame. I saw them film that. Became a massive hit too. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for all coming along and especially thanks to uh, Luke Smith and I had Judas and Martha again coming in with the big bucks. As well as all the other guys. 
they've gone off my radar. Uh, there was Jasper, who was quite rude, but thank you very much. And uh, everyone else, uh, thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll see you next time. What am I doing tomorrow night? Hmm. Might get Brian over, see what he's up to. If you're keen on that, let me know down below. Anyway, thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.